I would like to argue that through destruction we can understand the world. Destruction. So, the official name is data bending, but I like to call it creative destruction, uncoding, or injection of artificial madness into our images. It's like giving drugs to the computer. got two kinds of formats. We've got raw, which is uncompressed. Raw are much bigger files and they contain all the information of an image. Basically, we can glitch them linearly or algorithmically. We will get into this later. We mostly work with compressed formats uh, to do uh, aggressive glitches. Today we're going to do uh, an overview on compressed files. Compressed files are smaller because a very small amount of the original image has to be stored in the file. All the information that's not stored in the file, the computer knows how to compute, how to calculate be the distances between pixels by gradients and algorithms that were written way back. So most formats today are compressed. We have JPEG, we have GIF, we have PNG, which is lossless. We have um, I don't know, we have some BMPs and so forth and so forth. And in video, it's way more common. So we've got MP4, AVI, Move, WMV, DivX, which is old, Xvid, which is old. Um, and then we've got music compressed files, which we're not going to play around with a lot. Let's open HXD. Small disclaimer, it's really important. Do a folder called glitched files. Copy your original files to there. Don't do glitches on original files. They'll break. You can't do control Z with hex editing. So keep backups of your original files basically at any given moment and do a new folder. Don't do it straight away on your desktop because it might confuse your computer a little bit. File open. You'll find your JPEG wherever it is. Open it and this is what you'll get. So this is what I like to call the DNA of your files. Basically all the information that the computer decodes will be uh, in this form of hexadecimal language will be shown as soon as you open a file in a hex editor. Now every file consists of three portions, a head, a body, and a foot. Okay? The head will have the metadata. So this would be the head basically here, but I'll always take a bit further from the head. Very important disclaimer, you should never change any character in the head because the head gives the computer the information it needs in order to know which program to open with it, um, what to do with the program, how many colors, what the extension is, which algorithm to use to decode it, stuff that are really important for the file to open. If you change something in the header, it might be one of the reasons why one of your files can't be opened anymore. Then you have the body. The body is the actual information that the computer decodes. So it takes this hexadecimal information and starts putting it through pipes that decode the, the this code. Eventually, it'll get to 
binary code, which actually gives information to your hardware to do actual stuff in the world. So you're actually looking at a process that the computer does by opening and closing switches in a very, very complex ways that make your screen show different colors, different intensities of light, etc., etc. The third thing is the number of characters needs to stay the same. So for example, you can't do control C, control V, because it'll tell you this operation changes the file size. Do you want to proceed? And you do not want to proceed. You always want to keep the same amount of characters. The solution to this is doing control C, control B. Control B is paste insert. It'll insert the characters above the characters that are already written. So it'll override them, it won't push them forward and add them to the file, changing the amount of characters and thus changing the file size and thus confusing the computer. The third thing is that we're working in a hexadecimal environment right now, so we can only change 16 characters. 0 to 9, which are 10 characters, and A to F, which are A, B, C, D, E, F, is another 6 characters. All in all, we've got 16 characters, which the computer can read as hexadecimal information. Um, any other characters will be outside of its understanding, so it won't let you change those characters. So, let's do the glitch. File. Open. JPEG. We want to go away from the header, so you'll have a certain pattern. Basically, we kind of have to guess where the header stops, so I always take a safe margin. I just scroll down and put my cursor somewhere here. It'll start doing the change from where you put the cursor on the screen. So uh, there is a green circle around my cursor. When I click, I put it here. That means that everything before it won't be affected, thus the header won't be affected and the file will stay okay. So I put my cursor somewhere after the header and then I go search, replace, and as we are in a hexadecimal environment and we want to change hex values, I'll go from text string to hex values, very important, and then we'll search for a string of four characters, which it will probably find a very small amount of them to replace. So we'll go completely random, 4E3A, and we'll replace this into 2D5A. Notice that all my characters are 0 to 9 and A to F. Then we'll click replace all, and it can't even find one of them. So let's search for a smaller string, which means for so three characters. And then we'll change it into three characters, and we'll replace all, and it found two occurrences, which is a very small amount. We're, we're gonna see what it gives. In order to save your file and watch it, we'll go to File, Save As, and then we'll open a new folder, Glitched Files, Glitch. And we'll save it, and let's go open it. Glitch Files, this is our Centaur. And you can see here, so if we go closer, it changed a very small amount of the image right on the bottom. So this is a glitch and it kind of shifted one of the lines. Now let's do it slightly more aggressive. Um, we'll keep it on the same file. More aggressively means less characters. We're gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna Put my cursor where I want to start the glitch, search, replace, and we're just going to do D5 to uh, 2F. Replace all, and now it found 630 occurrences. I overwrite the, the, the previous one, so Control S will save, and this is how it looks aggressively. So you can kind of see something stay that stayed from the original image, but mostly it's gone and you have a nice texture now. Now let's do this with other file types. It'll work exactly the same. Let's open a GIF file. This is a relatively small quality image. 
so it's a relatively small file. We're gonna try it again though. Search, replace, and we'll do two characters, and we'll do two characters, and we'll replace all, and we have 981, we're gonna overwrite this file, and this is beautiful. Look at this beauty. It completely wobbled it around. So go and try stuff. It works on animated GIFs as well. It works really nicely on animated GIFs, but the computer has a little bit of a hard time to open them. Um, so you'll have to fix them. I'll show later how to fix them. Let's do... That was a GIF. Let's do PNG. PNG is very fragile. Um, it's actually lossless, but it's compressed lossless. So it will go through a certain decompression algorithm. So let's go away from the header, choose somewhere to start, search, replace, and we'll do something slightly less aggressive because of its fragileness. So we'll do three characters. Replace all, it found 17, I think that will probably do it. Save as, glitched files, Da, da, da. Um, and this was PNG. So always, always, always give um, the extension. Good, let's go check it out. Oh, this is beautiful. And it embosses it and it does these kind of shifts. This is very nice. Okay, so these are three compressed file formats that'll give you beautiful and different kinds of glitches which you can use each one for whatever you want. Good. Right, so let's do um so let's do a fast GIF file that I prepared. Um let's open the video folder. I have a GIF here. I'm just gonna drag it into the hex editor, gonna go a bit lower after the header, put my cursor somewhere, search, replace, and we're gonna do whatever was there on the last one, replace all. It's gonna take a while, it's a very big GIF file, it's around 100 megs. It's a really high quality GIF, which went through some facial machine learning. So, file, save as, I'm gonna put it in a glitch folder, I'm gonna save it, it's gonna take, again, a little moment to save it, and there it is, glitched. It's like, it's like a broken VHS from the 90s, so you can do this with really high quality GIFs because if you look closely you can see that the, the, the lines don't start at the beginning of the screen, so they push the next line um, forward or backwards. Very pretty. Let's do a video. So still we're with scanners. It's an MP4. I'm just going to drag it in. Put your cursor somewhere after the header. Search. Replace. We're going to do a four, four character number. Um, because we want to go slightly less aggressive on video. So we'll do three, E3, A4, and we'll replace this into A3, D, D. Alright, we'll replace all, found 350 occurrences, file, save as, glitched folder, we're just gonna keep the same name, I'm gonna call it, it takes a moment to to it's a small file takes a really small amount of time to save and this is how it looks so we've got some moshing so we've got some moshing we've got some jpeg kind of glitches the sound just died um, this is, this is pretty. This is pretty.
So these were five different glitches which you can do with one technique. So they were all made with um, hex bending. You just open a file in a hex editor, you change some characters, uh, and you go on. In the next videos, we'll learn how to fix all those files in order to use them in other uh, software so that you can import them into game for Photoshop, uh, how to fix your videos in order to put them back in Premiere, slow mo them, edit them with other stuff. Um, maybe in the next video we'll also do some uh, moshing, some data moshing, which I'll explain what it is. Uh, and then in the video after we'll do, um, we'll do some really cool stuff with raw data so we'll hear them and we'll put some audio effects on them in order to change them very cool so like subscribe do like subscribe 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 Ike, subscribe, Ike, subscribe, Ike, subscribe, Ike, subscribe, Ike, subscribe.